skull. Flippin' skull. Hey guys, it's McKaylee, and today I'm going to be telling you about the whole situation with Skull. He was a kid that I liked for a while, and um, it didn't end very well. We're gonna go all the way back to third grade. So, me and him, we were in the same class, and we were we were friends, you know, we always talked. I think we both knew that we liked each other. We just never did anything because again, it was third grade and I knew I was too young for that at the time. So I didn't really want to do anything with it. I just liked him and I knew he liked me because again, no one in third grade could keep secrets. No one can keep secrets now. So everyone told me that he liked me and I was like, yeah, I know. When third grade ended, I don't think I told him I liked him and I don't think we talked that whole summer. Then fourth grade comes around and we were in different classes so I didn't really see him and we didn't talk. My one friend at the time said like, oh, um, you know, like, I'm friends with Skull and stuff like that. And I'm like, wait, really? I don't think I liked him at this time. I think I was like kind of over it. But I wanted to talk to him again because, you know, we were good friends and we lost touch and I didn't have his number or anything. So I was like, uh, what, can you like slip him my number? <laughs> Now that I think about it, it's like really cringy, but I put my number on a piece of paper, gave it to her for her to give to him, and I told her to not tell him that it was me. She did anyways. So I was at my friend Angie's house, and we were just hanging out, and I get a phone call. And it's Skull. <laughs> like, at the time, I didn't know it was Skull because I didn't have his number, so I answered it, and I was like, hey, who, like, what's up? And he was like, hey, is this McKaylee? And I'm like, yes. And he was like, it's Skull. And I was like, hi. <laughs> we talked for a bit. And then he was like, hey, can I ask you something? And I was like, sure, why not? So he asked me, <laughs> do you like me? <laughs> and I was like, um... Now, at this point, I did not like him. At least I didn't think I did, but I, I was kind of like over it at the time because again, we hadn't talked for basically the whole school year. It was like close to the end of the school year. And so I was like, well, do you like me? And he was like, yes. And so I was like, oh. <laughs> so I told him, yeah, I like you too. Mostly because I didn't want to make him feel bad. You know, I'm that kind of person. Well, now if someone tells me they like me and I don't like them back, I'll, I'll tell them, but in a nice way. Um, at that time, I didn't want to hurt his feelings, so I told him, yes, I do. Um, and he was all, like, excited and happy. He was like, oh, yes, like, I kind of figured, you know, and I've liked you for a while. And I was like, cool. <laughs> Well, I think that whole summer we like texted and talked a lot, but he he's one of those kids that kind of just spam random shit, and it was kind of annoying, so I told him off, and I was like, look, this is annoying, so no. I think he asked me out, and I didn't know what to do, so I, I blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was such an awful person. So then, fifth grade comes around. That whole year, my friends were trying to get me with Skull. I don't know why, but they were, because this was still elementary school, and so we had, like, recess and stuff, and during recess, all of the, like, fifth grade classes would go outside, or, like, kindergarten classes, you know, like, whatever um, grade you were in, that whole grade would go outside for that whole period thing. So the whole fifth grade was outside. Me and school were not in the same class again. And I don't know what got me to like him again, but um, my one friend would act like a maniac and chase him around the playground to try to get him to talk to me. 
and I did not want to talk to him. Like, I'm that person who feels more comfortable behind a screen. <laughs> so, like, I'll text them and be fine with it, you know? But then once I see them in person, it's, like, a little awkward, you know? One time he actually came to me, and he was like, Hi, what's up? And I'm like, nothing, you? And he was like, nothing. And then he ran off, because that's what fifth graders do. We're dumb and immature. Then that whole thing's over, and then sixth grade comes around. Okay? Now, again, we were not in any of the same classes. I would see him around in the hallways, but, like, we never talked or anything. I think it's, like, December. I think it was, like, like Christmas break or something like that. I'm on Snapchat, and I see, like, I go to the mutual friends list or whatever, and I see um, his Snapchat. I add him on Snap, and I don't text him. He actually texts me first. He's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And he said, why'd you add me? And I was like, oh, he, uh, it was just like on the mutual friends, you know, just trying to get views. <laughs> Didn't say that, but you know. Sips the tea. So we talked a bit and we talked most of that, uh, like the rest of the year-ish. Like, you know, I would always text first, but we talked. And that's when I started to like him again. I was in sixth grade, so I was like, okay. I'm of age, I can maybe start dating now. We jumped to, I think it was April. I think it was the day before Easter. I was talking to my friend Angie. I told her like, I like Skull. And she was like, really? And I was like, mm-hmm. And so I forgot exactly how she did it, but she told him that I liked him I kind of gave her permission though, because again, I was trying to do it, I just didn't have the balls. I was like, okay, fine, you can tell him. And so she did. And I don't think we texted after that. Then we go to the day of Easter, and I text him, and I'm like, hey, remember when Angie told you I liked you? And he's like, yeah. He was like, and I was like, well, I, I do, and I... I don't know why I said this, but I was like, I know there's 0% chance that you like me back, but I just wanted to tell you because I, I do. You know what he sent me? Dot, dot, dot. That's it. He just sent me dot, dot, dot. After I went on that whole thing and opening up my feelings, which is something I really never do, I hate being like feeling vulnerable in a certain situation so I don't open up much I opened up to him and he sent me dot 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 now that hurt <laughs> and so I think the day after Easter Angie actually came to visit and she slept over my house and I told her what happened and she was like oh like we should probably like talk to him and I'm like well I, I've, I've tried but he'd never answered. He posts on his story, um, his number, and he said, I message games? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna retell this part of the story because I got it wrong. So she, she got the number and he didn't have her number. So she pretended to be her cousin, which I guess is friends with him. And so we did that. And then she was like, hey, wanna FaceTime? And he said, sure. So they did. And then that's when she showed me and we went through that whole thing. So, okay, yeah, I'll just continue. She was like, well, I'm with her right now. And he wasn't having it. He really wasn't. I think he hung up. And then I added his number and I uh, called him and I was like, hey, like, what's going on? Like, can we just, can we just talk? Now, at this point, yes, I was being annoying because, you know, I, I spammed him a lot because I wanted to talk about the whole thing because at this time, like, I really, really liked him and so I really wanted to tell him and just see what he said and not fucking dot, dot, dot. I'm like, can we just please talk? And he said, no. And he hung up. And so I called him again and I had... Like, a bunch of other people over. Like, it was Angie, her cousins, and her friend, and, like, my cousin was there, too. I give the phone to them, and I'm like, curse him out. Like, just be mean, because he's an asshole. They did, because they're great friends. 
And then my cousin takes a phone and he starts cursing him out. And he goes hard. Skull hangs up and he posts on Snapchat. He posts my number on Snapchat without me, like, like, giving consent or anything he posts my number and he's like oh these annoying people keep calling me you know they, this transgender sounding kid which is my cousin cursed me out fun fact skull and the transgender sounding kid my cousin actually became friends the next school year and they didn't well i don't know if skull knows but the transgender kid had no idea until I told him. He's not actually transgender. He's not. Okay. Yeah, that was just a fun fact. I, I tried texting him and calling him. And he never answered. And that's where we left off. Also, this year, I learned that he sent my sister nudes. <laughs> The guy that I had liked so much, and my sister knew how much I liked him, sent... He sent my twin sister nudes. And he knew we were sisters. He sent her nudes. And I saw them, and let me just say, not impressed. <laughs> Afterwards, I did learn that he was a total fuck boy um and while i liked him people did warn me you know like he he's not a good guy like you shouldn't like him and i'm like oh i'm into bad guys you know like <laughs> and i guess i kind of am still but not fuck boys i do not like him anymore i have moved on from the situation he was really cute though he really was and he was tall and I like tall <laughs> I'm glad it didn't work out because I knew it wouldn't have been good and he would have just been a total dick. So, I mean, I guess that's all that matters, you know? If you, uh, if you tell someone you like them, don't say, I know there's 0% chance you like me. Tell it with confidence, you know? Even if you're not confident, just try to sell it. Know who you like. Don't try to go after F boys. And just be confident. And if you do get rejected, that's their loss because you're most likely an amazing person and you deserve so much better than them. His, his name's not actually Skull. It's not. That's just the name I've given him because I don't really want to expose people. Oh my god, he has a YouTube channel. <gasps> Should I expose him? <laughs> Wait, it was really old. It, it was like when he liked me. So like fourth grade, he made it and he posted videos. I don't know if he's deleted them or not, but they were cringy. In sixth grade, I didn't like the kid that he had become. I liked the kid that he was in like third grade. Yes, he was much cuter in sixth grade, but in, in third and fourth grade, he was sweet and he was nice. And he was just a nice person. And he cared a bit about school. And, um, yeah, now he doesn't. So that that's why I liked him in sixth grade to all the people who told me, like, you shouldn't like him. He's a total asshole. I didn't like him for the way he was then. I liked him for the way he was in third grade. I'm going to go now. Hope you all enjoyed my terrible, terrible love life story. Don't forget to check out all my social medias. Oh, wait, also, I have been posting every day this week. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for the next few videos. And if you haven't watched the last few videos, go check those out. Because those are good. And you'll get a little more uh, insight on the whole, like, school situation. Bye. <laughs>